Hello, tech enthusiasts and aspiring DevOps professionals. My name is Michael Forrester. I'm with CodeCloud. Today's episode, we're going to explore the impact of artificial intelligence on the tech and particularly the DevOps industry. And we're going to discuss how you can adapt your DevOps career to thrive in what is a rapidly evolving landscape. So here at CodeCloud, we understand that the rise of AI has raised a ton of concerns about job security. In particular, with all the layoffs, you know, there's this concern that perhaps they happen because AI. Now, in truth, most economists that we see in articles have indicated that there was a lot of inflated hiring during COVID, and now you add in AI, which has added a certain level of optimizations, and there is this kind of hyped chasing of AI. But fear not, we're here to provide you with some valuable insights and some strategies to stay ahead of the curve as AI inflates, then deflates, and then becomes meaningful for everybody. So let's dive in. Artificial intelligence, Gen AI, as it has been released in November of 2022, is undoubtedly the most exciting innovation to hit the tech world in decades. The term I'm hearing is that AI is the new electricity, kind of like data is the new oil, which is relevant, by the way. So it's unleashed new capabilities and, and, and has promised to significantly reshape the way that all tech work is done, not just operations or DevOps work. However, media reports suggesting that AI could replace up to 5% of tech full-time technology roles each year have left a lot of tech workers worried. But here's the good news. AI have currently a lot of limitations. And so really the key to thriving in any era, much less the AI era, or whether it's the cloud era, or the internet era, or the mobile device era, or the IoT era, there's a bunch of eras here. Because having been in the industry for 25 years, I saw the internet rise, right? I saw mobile phones rise and take over. I saw cloud take over. I've seen Kubernetes take over. And now we've got AI and it's taken over. But everything is sitting on top of everything else. So as we approach this new wave of change, we have to understand a little bit about what AI can't do and really focusing on developing not just the human skills that differentiate us, but the AI skills that will allow us to use AI to kind of ride the wave, if you will, because just like Kubernetes, just like cloud, just like the internet before it, it's all here to stay. And if you're in this IT industry, you're here to adapt. So we wanna future-proof your career. And you know, we wanna take a moment to reflect on the relevance of the internet now and cloud computing now and Kubernetes now. These technologies have revolutionized the way we work. They created new roles and new opportunities. Cloud engineer didn't exist until cloud came along. Kubernetes engineer and experts didn't come along and they have emerged in response to these advancements. So the AI enabled DevOps engineer, this rise of AI is gonna give birth to new positions that leverage AI's capabilities. To quote Charles Darwin, who famously said, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor is it the most intelligent. It is the species that is the most adaptable to change. And if you're in IT, adaptability is key to thriving in this age of AI as it expands and embraces us. So you wanna embrace change, you wanna get curious, you wanna continuously upskill, and you wanna stay ahead of the curve. Now, let's think about this for a second. What are some skills then that could make you future-proof no matter how AI evolves? One, business acumen. The ability to understand how technology can serve the business needs and the client needs. This includes even a superficial understanding of finances, operations, strategy, industry, this is gonna bring an understanding to your tech knowledge that allows you to translate it into business value. That is true regardless of your role, developer, operations, machine learning, architect, doesn't matter. The other piece is leadership presence, being able to cultivate the ability to step into meetings with C-levels, with engineers, speak their language, speak to the clients, understand their issues, solve the client's problem in valuable, simple, and elegant ways. AI, for example, may be able to detect malware faster than any human, but it can't explain to a CEO the return on investment that their company's gonna get from using an AI-driven cybersecurity platform. That ability is gonna make you super valuable. Things like emotional intelligence, building relationships with clients and human beings by understanding and managing their emotions. Employees with high emotional intelligence are considered to be highly flexible and adaptable, which is crucial for adapting to today's ever-changing workspace. I also wanna say that as AI automates more hands-on tasks, the ability to lead teams and drive innovation will become increasingly valuable. So you gotta develop your leadership skills, 
just like we mentioned before, to guide your organization, but not just at a personal presence level, but at a team level as well. Last and arguably the most important for DevOps professional is embracing AI workflows is going to significantly enhance your Kubernetes workflows, your cloud workflows, your CI CD workflows, your code workflows, all of it. By integrating AI power tools into your DevOps everything, you can speed up the automation of repetitive tasks. You can improve your code quality amazingly. You can accelerate your deployment cycles. I mean, for example, AI assisted code review tools such as GitHub Copilot, Q Developer, Google's Gemini, they're going to analyze your code base, look for issues, provide intelligent recommendations. This is going to save time, and this is going to allow you to force multiply your DevOps operations output, but only if you know the tools. AI can also be leveraged for things like predictive maintenance and anomaly detection, and those are just the use cases that we know about today. I would predict that in the future, AI is probably going to eat most of our implementation details, and we're going to have this AI partner who's going to help us drive operations and drive business value and create resolutions for critical failures. It's going to create business architectures. So then that leaves the question, Michael. If we know that AI enhanced workflows, if we know these human skills are necessary, what do we do? First of all, I would be completely remiss if I didn't say that we have a soft skills class for DevOps engineers. Most of what's in there is going to help you with your human pieces. But here's some free trainings around AI that we don't have that I think would actually be very useful for you to stay ahead of the curve, get into this AI space, understand how to bring it into your DevOps cycles. So there's several top firms and universities that offer free online courses that are going to serve as an introduction to AI technologies. Here's some things to get you started. Amazon. So Amazon AWS in particular has a low cost offering that has 100 free and low cost AI courses covering topics such as machine learning, generative AI, foundational models. That's number one. Number two, Google AI for everyone. This beginner course is offered through edX. It covers AI, generative AI, foundational models. And it's a beginner course that basically gonna cover machine learning, real world principles, and AI programming. Worth checking out. Harvard also has an introduction to artificial intelligence with Python. This is a seven week course. It covers AI algorithms, game playing engines, handwriting recognition, and machine translation. Number four, IBM's AI Foundations for Everyone. This course is offered through Coursera, it includes three courses that cover the basics of AI, its applications, ethical concerns, and basically how to start a career in AI. Intel has several AI courses. They've got dozens of self-paced courses deep learning for robotics, natural language processing, AI concepts. Number six, University of California Davis has big data, artificial intelligence and ethics. This is a four week course, part of the kind of computational social science specialization. It's part of Coursera. It focuses on big data, AI history and research ethics. So if you want more of the ethics piece, this is what you would look at. University of Pennsylvania's AI for Business has also a course through Coursera that covers AI fundamentals for non-data scientists. AI applications in marketing, finance, and people management, as well as AI strategy and governance. That is just a sample of the resources available. There is so much out there about AI. So take advantage of these free resources to expand your AI knowledge, expand your skill set, bring them into your workflows, work with ChatGPT, work with Poe, work with Anthropic's, you know, Claude models, download Olama. Go take a look at Hugging Face. There's just so much out there. And you're going to take it just one piece at a time. Learn the basics like you learn anything. Play with it. Get it more advanced. Get more advanced. But by doing so, you're going to position yourself as a valuable asset in the AI-driven tech landscape. So here's the conclusion. In this age of AI, adaptability is the key to thriving in your DevOps career. AI is going to be able to automate certain tasks. It's going to be able to act as a force multiplier. It's not going to replace all the human skills that are essential for driving business success. So remember, the rise of AI is not really a threat, but it's an opportunity. You want to embrace the change, continuously upskill, and leverage AI to enhance your DevOps workflows. And at the final question, is AI going to take our jobs? The answer is actually, it's not. But the person who knows AI, that person is who you're going to be competing to. That DevOps engineer who's taken the time to learn AI fold it into his workflow, that person is going to be the person you're competing with. It's not going to be AI. It's going to be the person who knows AI next to you, who knows what you know and knows AI. Last message here. At CodeCloud, we're committed to providing you with the resources and the training you need to get hands-on because we build high-quality DevOps engineers. And in this age of AI, it's going to be an important skill set, much like Kubernetes, much like cloud, 
much like programming. So our courses at Hands-On Labs are designed to equip you with that latest skills and knowledge to navigate this changing landscape of DevOps and cloud computing. So I really appreciate you joining us today. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, to share, to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And down below in the notes, let us know what you think. What is the future of DevOps in the context of AI? What do you think about adding AI as a skill set? And what do you think about embracing the wave instead of fighting it? Until next time, happy learning and keep innovating with CodeCloud.